Setting up P2P. First, we'll want to right click and choose Main Menu. We'll need to put in our admin password. Once we're at the main menu, we'll want to look on the bottom row, the setting row, and choose Network. We'll want to enable the DHCP button and hit Apply. We should see that the numbers change to zeros. We'll want to check P2P on the bottom left-hand side and make sure it's enabled and hit Apply on here as well. Then we'll go to the main menu again and hit shut down and we'll restart the unit. We'll wait a minute for the unit to reboot. We should see system is initializing and then the unit should reboot back up. Once the unit boots back up, we'll want to right click to bring up the main menu prompt and log in with our admin password. Once we're logged in, we want to go to Network on the bottom row. We may see that it has a new IP address, or it may be the default still. Next, we'll check out the P2P or EZ4 IP on the bottom left-hand side. We should see that it's online. And we should take special note of the QR code on the right-hand side that says Device SN. This is what we'll use in the app to scan and record the serial number. Now let's open up the app on our phone. It's available in the App Store. It's called SCS Lite. It's available in the Android and iPhone App Stores. You'll go to Device Manager and hit the plus button and choose a wired device. You want to use the P2P method and then give the device a name. It can be anything you like. Then we'll hit the QR button and it should open up the QR code scanner. And then we can aim the QR code scanner at the QR code on the screen of the NVR or DVR. Once we have successfully scanned the QR code, it should immediately snap back into the settings where we can finish by entering our password. Once we've got that selected, we can hit Start Live Preview and we can begin connecting for remote viewing.